This might be the most quirky AI coding assistant that I've come across. It's called ChatDev, it's by OpenBMB, and its purpose is to simulate an entire software company. Everyone from the CEO to designers to product managers, and all of these AI agents work together to create a product. So I'm gonna show you how to install it, then I'm gonna show you how to use it, Let's go. So this is their GitHub page. I just wanna show this to you really quickly. Communicative agents for software development. And really what sets this apart are two things. One, it's multiple AI agents working together that take on different roles within a software company. And second, it comes with this really cool pixelated user interface that actually illustrates the different members of the team working together. So it's really cool. It has a ton of functionality. It has 9.3 thousand stars already, and it's very popular. It's on GitHub trending. So let me show you how to install it. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up a new terminal. I'm using a Mac, but you can use Windows. It should work just the same. And I'll highlight when the commands are different for Windows. Now you should already have Anaconda installed. I use Conda in every one of these projects. So if you're watching my video, you probably have it installed. But if you don't, go ahead and install it. Just Google how to install Anaconda. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention is I'll drop a gist in the description below with all the commands I'm gonna be using. So you can just copy paste from there. The first thing we need to do is clone the repository. So git clone and then the URL. And to grab the URL back to the GitHub page, you click this green code button. And then right here, you click copy. Switching back to terminal, we're gonna hit enter. And there it's downloading all the files and folders necessary. Done. Next, we're gonna create a new Conda environment for this project. And that's gonna allow us to have all of our dependencies isolated in a really neat way. All right, and it's done. And the next thing we're gonna do is grab this command right here. Conda activate chat dev underscore Conda underscore env, and then just hit enter. And we know it's active because it says so right there. Next, we're gonna CD change directory into chat dev. So CD chat dev, enter. And now we're in that folder. Next, we're gonna install all of the requirements. So pip3 installed dash r requirements.txt and then just hit enter. Now I've already installed it so that's why it says requirement already satisfied but if this is your first time installing it it'll actually show the installation in progress. The next thing we need is a chat GPT API key. So switch over to OpenAI and if you don't already have an account go ahead and sign up. Go to the API key section and we're going to create a new secret key and I'm going to call this chat dev2 because I already have a chat dev. Then we're going to copy this and don't worry I'm going to revoke this key before publishing the video. And since I'm on a Mac I'm going to type Type export and then open AI API key with underscores equals and then as a string the API key. Now, if you're on Windows, it's slightly different and I'll put that on the screen right now. But you're gonna type env colon openAI API key all underscores equals and then in a string again, put the API key. Then we hit enter and that's it. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually create our application. So on a Mac, we're gonna type Python 3 run.py dash dash task. And then this is where you can write out a description of the app that you want to create. And you can write anything. You can keep it as general as you want or as detailed as you want. And the example application that we're going to build today is a very simple to-do app. For this example, we're going to say a to-do app where users can add to-do items, check off to-do items to complete them, and delete and edit to-do items. And the name is going to be to-do. Then we just hit enter. And here it goes. And now it's developing each of the team members based on the roles. And what's happening is it's a bunch of AI agents working together. All right, it's finished. So it used 16,000 tokens, and it gives you a bunch of other information as well. Within this warehouse folder is where all of the projects are gonna be located. The one that you just created, as well as a bunch of other example applications. So double click into there, and you can see all of these different example applications. We have another to-do list, we have a tic-tac-toe, we have MS Paint, password generator, a bunch. But at the very top, the one I just created is right here, to-do default organizations. Okay, but once it's done, here's the fun part. We can actually watch the replay and all the AI agents working with each other simulated. To do that, we're gonna type Python3 online underscore log slash app dot pi. And then we're gonna hit enter. And if you're on Windows, you just type Python, not Python 3. Here, we're gonna grab this URL. It spins up a server so we can actually watch it. Switching over to our browser, this is what we should see. So we click chat replay, then we click file upload. Then we find this little log file right here and we click open. Then we click replay and there it is. Now we can actually watch it happen in real time. And right here, we can slow down the replay speed or speed it up. And you can see here, here's the CEO. Here's the chief product officer the chief technology officer, and so on. So you can actually watch them going back and forth working together. And another thing you can do is actually see the chat chain visualizer. So click on that. 
Then we're gonna click choose file. And in the chat dev folder, go to company config default. And then we go to chat chain config.json. And now we can see all of the different prompts and the roles chained together, which is pretty cool. And the last thing I wanna show you is just one of the examples that were created by this app. So let's look at the Flappy Bird app. So we open it up in Visual Studio Code. We go to main.py and then we click the little play button in the top right of Visual Studio Code. And here we could see Flappy Bird. This is a really hard version of it. Let's try that one more time. And so here it is. It's obviously a very simplistic version. Sometimes the pipes overlap with each other, so it's certainly far from perfect, but it's really good for just typing a prompt out and getting everything that you need. And that's it. So now you know how to install and use chat dev. Let me know what you create with it. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.